Hi everyone, we're XBM Network. We are having a look at Verlier Swing on Xbox One. It was out on the 14th of June, developed by Flamebait Games and Digger Artery, and it's published by Digger Artery. Also, Stage Clear Studios has uh, developed this as well. It's rated 7 and above. It's classed as action, adventure, and platformer. Single player only. 12.49 on the store. We will leave a link in the description. So grab your hookshot and enter Surreal Fever Dreams, an eccentric world where weird stuff happens, where statues stare you down and you die on impact with any of your surroundings. So it's an abstract gauntlet <clears throat> that transforms into weird and more challenging courses as you sail and soar through strange landscapes of koi, fish, pizza slices and other bizarre obstacles. So what does it feature? It's a hundred levels of fast paced swinging action, increasingly surreal levels to swing through, Progressively difficult gameplay. So you've got leaderboards, challenges, and with Xbox One version, you have mixer broadcasting integration. So as soon as you jump in, you've got the main menu section here. As I was to show and continue, we have a little play about of it. Try to get a bit of practice in. So you can, any previous cleared level, you can try again. So that's where your level selection there. Challenges, settings. Now the challenges, you can see there, Museum Dash, play through all the World 1 levels in one go. So different completed levels, you know, but the total you get will unlock different challenges for you. So as you can see there, I've only completed nine at the moment. Try and get through, if, through a bit more of them at the moment, at this time being. And you can complete up to a hundred. Quick look at level 10. We're going to come back to that one. As you can see, there's 20 levels per section. There's five sections, 20 in each. And as you can see, you've got some teapots as well. That sort of, they're like stars, I think. Um, you know, the best ratings. Try and get as many of them as you can. As you can see, we've got the names of the levels as well on the left-hand side. Your best time of completing the level as well. So we'll start number one, nice and easy. So, right trigger is used to control. So basically, that's going to latch onto an, ob an object. Your objects that you can latch onto will be highlighted with the blue rectal. So you can see we're just going through there. Let go. That's that level beat. You can double tap the view button at any point just to restart that level. Left sticks to move. I'm just swinging out to the left. As you're going through the air as well, you can use your left stick to control the um, direction of which you're uh, swinging about. We've got to make our way around this level. As you can see, we've got some clouds. We can latch onto them as well. Statues we can. Pillars if we get close enough. At the moment, we're just going to latch onto the yellow blob. So I'm just having a quick swing out. I'm going to grab onto that cloud. Hopefully I'm into it. What we will tell you as well though is... Well in fact I'm going to show you. Judging how far you swing up and how far you swing down. If you touch anything, that's the end of the level, you're going to fail. If you touch the floor, you fail as well. So what we're trying to do is just go through. You swing as well, as you can see it goes a little bit faster the more you go through the level. You've got to try and judge when to let go as well. So again you're just using the right trigger. And you've got to keep hold of it. Prime example there. Because I let the swing go too far, it was too much of a length. And we've managed to hit the floor and that was the end of that, you know, that attempt. You will fail 
numerous times on a level. As demonstrated here. <laughs> trying to avoid that cloud and try and hopefully get in. No, I've missed it. So, some levels you can swing and get into the portal fairly simple. Other ones you've got to actually think about it, try and judge speed, height, velocity, that sort of thing. And you'll be able to clear it just like that. So this one we're going through a canyon. They go a bit faster as well. So as you're swinging, the speed picks up. I'm trying to avoid certain areas. Because remember, if you touch anything at all, it's game over for that one. So as I in practice, I've only got the first nine levels. That's a rocket. I would just tapped onto the rocket there and we managed to clear the level. That was just pure luck because in practice that must have took me a hundred attempts. Remember you can swing off to the side with the left stick. So I'm just coming on the side here. You will find Definitely don't follow what I'm doing, I'm probably doing it the wrong way. The swing was just too close to that cloud there. If you're a fan of web slinging games such as Spider Man and you're used to the way that controls, you might be able to get away with this. Probably gone the wrong way to be honest. There's some giant pizza slices. I'm gonna try and get in this way. Hopefully I've let go in time. Have I made it? Yes. <laughs> this one's called around the block. If I remember rightly, we've gotta try and get up to the top of the tower just by using that said tower. So I'm swinging around to the side. Trying to control the swing with the left stick as well. You don't have to start at that yellow point, as you can see there. We can latch onto the tower instead. I'm going to try and swing around the side to see if I can do anything there. Nope, oh, straight into a teapot. That's that one. So, as you can see, if you've beat the level previous, you will get the uh, you know you know your new time. I've just shaved 16 seconds of my previous best on that one, so I'm quite pleased with that one. Mausoleum. This is full of statues from like Easter Island. So you're gonna try and work out which way to go around. I'll try and work out which way I went in practice now. Because you do pick up a lot of speed as you're swinging around. Remember, you can't touch anything or the floor. Just pushing right on the left thumbstick to try and come around there. I'll try and come around this other side. Up to the clouds. And fail. <laughs> Gone again. So this is a game, if you do like the look of it, you are going to fail numerous times. Practice is key. Have I got it? Just. So attack on pillar. 
So we're trying to latch onto these pillars here. Looks like we want to try and hit the sticky out pillars to try and get ourselves through. Remember, speed will pick up. <laughs> Let yourself free fall if you can. Until you find a suitable pillar, which I haven't. No, I did. Have I? No. <laughs> so I guess a lot of it will be potluck. There's probably some really simple routes through the level as well. If you do get them, let us know. Show us how you've managed. Oh, come on, I just want that. <laughs> nope. I was nearly there. And that was just pure luck. Most of that. I have noticed that the more you, you progress in a bit of a level, definitely speeds up. I'm not quite sure what the fastest is you can go. I think I unlocked an achievement uh, via practice. I think it was crash and burn at a very high speed or something like that. I thought I'd died, I'd let go of the control pad there. I thought I'd failed. I'm just trying to sling off. Completed it. So now I'm actually further than what I ever have been in practice. So all what's now in front of us isn't completely new to me. So I don't know where I'm going, what I'm doing. As you can see, the objects are breaking, which is making it difficult, but very interesting. I completely missed that. It definitely adds a bit of variety to your levels. Failed again. Like I say, it is trial and error. Question is going to be: Have you got the patience for it? Yep. Try around. Should we try around the right hand side? That made no difference, really, did he? Um tried to latch on that pillar there, but it wouldn't quite let me. No, I'm gonna fail. So the more you hold on and try and tether on to an object, the shorter the uh what we're we gonna call it the web sling. And just get through that bit there. Latch onto that. Have we got it? No, I landed underneath. Definitely an interesting concept. It's definitely, I would say, a 1% skill, 99% luck at the moment. I don't want to be beat, I want to show you that what comes after this. I think I've got it. Yep. <laughs> so, horizontally. This is number 12. It says, what does that say? Use left stick for horizontal swings.
I'm not quite sure what it means. Because I'm holding up. Right, so I'm holding up on the left thumbstick. That's got me through. It's definitely getting a bit faster. Oh, come on, just jump. Just hold into it. That'll do. Where are we at now? As you can see, it's getting quite fast as well. This certainly makes you think about what you need to do and how fast you have to take your finger off the trigger. Judge your speed. <laughs> Crash onto the floor. <laughs> Whoa, that was quite fast. I oh, nearly had that there. That's it. it's, a lot of it's just luck. I've latched on. I've got it. Yep. Even though I'm failing quite a bit, I am actually enjoying it. Where do I go here? Hit the pillars, perhaps. Whoa, it's getting fast. Can't latch onto that. Nope. <laughs> Not sure if we have to go over. Do we go around? So every level, you c you could say it offers. A fair, a fair few unique ways to get round it. It's just whichever way you feel comfortable in trying it. If you think you can see a step path, try it out. Oh, I've missed that, haven't I? No, that didn't work. I tried to sl slingshot myself around. Be interesting to see what people's actual good times are. Um, there's probably people out there who would agree definitely speed running. They probably have had this done in three seconds. I think some games nowadays are designed just to be completely as fast as possible. Which is a good thing, because it gives you bragging rights among your friends. Online communities. What am I doing? <laughs> Cloud. We'll have a cloud. We won't have a cloud. Where are we going? Up and over. Easter Island. Nope. At least we're seeing the end. <laughs> we'll have a couple more goes. See if we can do it. We go this way around the clouds. Don't want to get all of them too fast. No, don't hit the floor. Right, where we go? No, oh, there's no chance of getting through there. <laughs> That's going to be pure skill. It looks like it's protected with a load of pillars, and it's just a case of swing round, get enough momentum, 
and hope for the best. That initial thrust when you've just come off. No, I'm not getting through with that. If you do pick it up, however, let us know how you get on. I'm sure you will do a lot better than what I'm doing. Don't do it too bad till I get to around here, and then when I get onto these clouds, I keep failing. That was a twelve pound forty nine on the start at the moment. If it's definitely up your street, give it a shot. Let us know how you get on. Right, so we've got enough swing now. Well, that's the closest I've been. <laughs> I'm going to leave it there, however. So there's your early, well, there's your first look from us at Verley Swing. It's been out a while now, a couple of weeks. Um, 12.9 if you do pick it up let us know on twitter at xpm underscore network let us know how far you get let us know some of your best times share the screenshots with us we'll be quite happy to share them out thank you for watching much appreciated and we'll see you next time